Salutations, my friends. Hello and welcome back to my modded Minecraft series. Um, so, today we want to look into something new. And um, I found something. I found chisel and bits. <laughs> that is one of the most awesome mods I ever encountered. You can chisel away here, like this here, every single bit of a stone block, of, of every kind of block basically, and make these smaller pillars. And even do this here. You can see this here. These are stairs. And I made them here underneath and glass in between. You can do so many things with it. It's really amazing. Um, but it's also really time sensitive. <laughs> oh, also this here. A block on top of um, the chests. Easily done. Just paints of a block done with chisel and bits. Awesome. Um, but we won't look into chisel and bits today. We want to look into uh, hitting my microphone. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, we want to look into <clears throat> totems. Uh, I keep installing new mods. Excuse me. <coughs> ah, I needed to cough there. Uh, I keep installing new mods and um, I kind of lose track of where I am right now. Um, and uh, I never encountered these mods, so I don't actually know what they are doing. So, first thing I want to do, look into Totemic and make a, what is it called? Totempedia. Good. I should have done it here right away. <laughs> Let's look at it. In. Can we do it? We can do it. Good. Nice. <clears throat> so, Totemic Basics. Buffaloes. The mighty buffalo, an animal which is known across the lands for all the resources it can grant. They are incredibly sturdy and have a very large amount of health. Hunting has left them nearly extinct, but they can still be created with a mundane buffalo dance ceremony. That's awesome. Uh, the red cedar tree is a large tree that magical properties, so its wood is especially useful for carving totem poles out of it. It can be obtained by infusing mundane saplings with, uh, what? Musical energy in the, whoa, Safkiel Waltz ceremony? <laughs> Red cedar uh, wood can be used like regular wood and can be used as a bark stripper to remove its bark. Good. That is actually not really helpful. Um, totems and effects, totem poles. Uh, yeah. Okay, I think I have to um, read a little bit through this, and um, when I know things, I will be back with you. All right. So I read a little bit um, and uh, tried to get the gist of it. Um, the very first thing we want to do is build a totem pole, and uh, the totem pole acts a little bit like a beacon from the sound of it. Uh, because it gives you passive effects. Um, let's see. First, we need a, a whittling knife. Let's see. Knife. Where is it? There is it. Good. Okay. Then with this knife, we can um, sneak right click on a log to determine uh, which sort of of totem pole we want to have. Let's see. Uh, just start it here. Grab the knife, right click, horse, squid, blaze, ocelot, bat, spider, cow, totem base. Let's see what happens. Ah, okay. Nice. Good. Now we have a totem base. Let's play this on top here. Uh, a horse, squid, blaze. Oh, it's a lot. Okay, it doesn't really change. Let's see. Place the next one. Uh, what else? Bat, spider, spider. Ah, I was hoping um, we get different, different um, textures. Whoop! That was wrong. Uh, give me that X. Thank you. Good. No, again wrong. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, what else? Spider, cow, cow. Good. 
They look all the same. That's a little bit disappointing. Maybe it's a work in progress. I don't know. Uh, good. So now we have a totem pole. Oh yeah, you can see we have um, resistance slowness because of the cow. Oh, it's not that bad. And we have spider. Um, spider means we can climb. <laughs> this is really nice. <laughs> Okay, we can now climb um, steep walls like a spider can. Let's see. Um, how far is the effect working? Ah, it's gone over here. So it's actually not that far. Let's see. No. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, it seems to work only really really close ah there we have it again so it's about one two three four five blocks there we go seven blocks so seven blocks i assume all around it uh will the effect last good the next thing we want to do um let's see where was it uh, we can um perform ceremonies <clears throat> and um the ceremonies will give us um, additional effects. Next thing, we want to craft the stuff we need. Let's see. We need... Um, <clears throat> I was thinking about a flute imbuation um, to imbue a flute. To imbue a flute, we have to make a flute. Oak leaves and sticks. Let's see. Flute. Um, make one. That is not a flute. That is a flute. Thank you very much. Good. So now we can actually play the flute. Uh, and by shift right clicking, we can decide which ceremony we want to. Oh, hello. Uh... Now we can't perform it because uh, we need some time. Oh, let's see. I read something about um, a staff. <clears throat> let's see. Where is it? Um, tools. Here. The totemic stuff. The cancel the ceremonies. Good. Let's see how we can build it. Sticks and leaves. That is easy to make. Okay. Give it another try. Hmm, we are not producing enough um, mystical music. No. Hmm, okay, um, I will try a few things and I will be back if I am able to achieve something. Now I know a little bit more of it. So, first of all, um, depending on the ceremony you want to do, is the amount of music to need. So, for example, I just tried to perform this Safiel Waltz ceremony to produce Red Seda saplings from those here. Uh, because Red Seda or Seda or whatever it's called, um, is more powerful for totems. So I decided to make a more powerful totem. It's not gonna happen because I need a large, large music amount and every instrument you, you use is only able to imbue the totem with so much musical uh, melodic power, what it is called, um, something like that. So with just the wind chimes here, I've placed them on leaves because the book told me so, <laughs> and the drum and the flute, it is not enough. <clears throat> so we have to do something else first. Um, for example, here I infused already flutes um, with the ceremony for flute imbuation. You can see here, all you have to do is um, play the flute two times and that selects while sneaking um, 
the ceremony of flu imbuation and I will sleep first. So, okay, play the flute while sneaking two times and the flute imbuation will start. And then we will just play instruments over the period of time. You can see here um, the above is the musical energy we imbue the totem with and the lower blue bar is the time. And we're done. Good. And now I have third infused flute. And the infused, infused flutes uh, produce more musical energy than the regular flutes do. So we can make this. We have the chimes around here. Pretty nice. What we can't do, still can't do, is make the cephacial, what, what, what is it called? <laughs> it's just a strange word for me. Um, Safkiel walls. Uh, we can't do that because we can't produce um, a high enough amount of musical energy. What we can do <laughs> is climb a totem pole. Um, what we can do though, at least I hope, is um, perform the ceremony of uh, Menden Buffalo Dance. And with that, we should um, morph, what is it called? Uh, to give strength to nearby cows and turn them to buffaloes. So, with this ritual, we should be able to turn all the cows into buffaloes. And the buffaloes we need for a more um, advanced instrument. So, let's see. Um, we need... Oh, we need a wind chime. So, let me uh, place the wind chimes around here. Okay, so now there is one wind chime there. Um, to initiate the ritual, um, I need to play the drum and the wind chime and then I will play the flute and the drum to produce musical energy. So let's see. Sneak, play the drum, play the wind chime and now play the drum and the um, flute and hope it will be enough. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, no, no. Ah, uh, it didn't work. By left-clicking with the totemic stuff, we can um, reset the ritual. I will bring the other wind chimes um, over also, so maybe they will produce the um, mount we need. Good, let's try it again. Sneaking and drum and wind chime and play. Yes, it worked. But, oh yes, a buffalo. Nice. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, I don't want to kill you. Hmm. Oh, there's another one. Awesome. Okay, so this worked as well. Um, and yeah, well, to, to make most use of it, we need to kill them because we need for additional instruments. Let's see here. Um, for the jingle dress, we need, let's see here, we need a buffalo hide. And for the rattle, we need a, ooh, where is it? A buffalo tooth. So unfortunately, we have to kill those. They are barely, uh, nearly extinct. And now I have to kill them. I feel really bad. Um, but I will perform the ritual um, more often and see if we can get more buffaloes. And by the next time, we will maybe perform the um, red cedar sapling ritual and see where this will lead. So I hope you liked the episode. If so, please, whoa, that was the wrong button. <laughs> if so, please leave me a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. And we will see us again in the next one. <laughs> Take care of yourself, guys. Rock on.